Okay, how's it going guys? Mr. Ember from the Rainbow Lemons here today, and I am playing Batman the Telltale series. This will be part two of episode one. Um, I am recording this right after I finish recording part one of episode one, so I really haven't seen what you guys have said in the comments yet, and this is probably still going to be a long ass video, or well, longer than I usually make, so this will be like maybe another half an hour or so, like the other one. Uh, so if you guys are liking these or aren't liking these, let me know down in the comments. And um, we're going to jump right back into this, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. See you at the end of the video. Need some elevator music. It's me. I love seeing Bat Caves, man. The Bat Caves are fucking awesome. Can't say I'm a fan of the car, it looks alright, but I prefer the tumbler, personally. See, it is still very much episode one. Realm of Shadows. Yep. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entry incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked. I refuse tonight. to believe that those landed the way that they did. It is video game. Are in custody this evening after really, a Jack Ryder? City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Let's. Maybe it's drugs. Can you imagine Batman on cocaine? Okay, okay. Whoa. Can I change sensitivity? Thanks. This is Jack Ryder. Really? He looks like that substitute teacher that I had the other day that I really wanted to punch in the face for no good reason. Actually, sorry. For no obvious reason. Okay. Ooh, Codex. Let's check Codex. Codex entries. Alfred Pennyworth. Normally I'd sit through here and look through all these. Mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. Uh, the body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmone was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime ooh. just before dawn, causing ooh, what's traffic this one? to back up for miles Gotham as the okay. cops Check cut this. it down. Just saying, he looks like a bad guy. Look at that. Look at him. Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases yeah, uh -huh. of riders yep. receiving mm -hmm. abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. Mm -hmm. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to read that, just go ahead and pause it and read it, but I really can't be fucked doing it, to be honest with you. This is going to be a long ass episode as it is. Building for this. Mm, okay. It's just convenient that this plugs in, isn't it? That's a bit retarded. What if you press that button while you're sitting in the chair? I bet you it's encrypted and I have to do some hacking yeah, shit. Encrypted. Really? Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. Because I'm Batman, in a man! Dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. 
Yeah, because everyone knows about the Batcave, don't they? It's such a well-known thing. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Couldn't they have got, like, Michael Caine to voice him? Or... Whatever that guy's name is in Gotham. I, I can never remember the name of the Gotham actors. The one that plays Alfred, because he's actually really cool. What am I looking at? Um, yeah. This is a map of the East Side Show. Oh. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Yeah, Alfred's got the right idea, but not that kind of dry cleaning, Bruce. Files to decrypt. And in the meantime... Maybe get some sleep? I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the Is game it Falcone or Falcone? I'd recommend <sighs> leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> for the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still Gotham. Had I was gonna say, yeah, it Gotham has a stellar again, reputation. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Nope. Sad to say, no, I already she's around this day. Actually, all that right. Uh, uh, Not much to find, apparently. I think I just had a stroke. Maybe burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Hmm. <laughs> you can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. <laughs> I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but no one's gonna figure. I don't it mean out. to beat a dead no, horse. Miss Bale noticed your injuries. So did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You're right. You're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I. I know you're only looking out for me. You're good if you man, make a suit good man. Me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. <sighs> Old men worry. That's all. It's our gift and our curse. So you say that One you're going to help worry me for the list, and then say that you're going. to... Oh, okay. Can you imagine Alfred being Batman? Put his back out, something like that. I thought I saw Oz. It's been what, twenty years? Last time I saw him. We were in grade school. Indeed. How'd you recognize you him? How do people thieves. do that? Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald huh. claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, You're a detective are on a much now. You're not allowed to believe in coincidences. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... <laughs> the Please tell me someone trouble. gets that reference. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Hmm. Batman shows up. That'd be amazing. Oop, wrong, wrong suit. Oh! The one that got away. Oh my god. 
this this dude's a fucking genius. I know he can handle himself, but seriously, he's just asking to get mugged. Just Bruce Wayne walking in some fucking park. I mean, I get Where it, you, but Alex? couldn't even caught a taxi, really. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Don't try anything, mate. Can I give him cash? I was about to look at that. Thank you very much, game. Okay. Ooh. Hey. I'm a nice guy. Can I give him some change? Yeah, right. Here you go. Uh, thank you, sir. No problem, mate. How much did I give you? Like, two bucks? I don't know American money. That's the problem with being from the land down under. Am I taking the piss out of my own country? Kind of. Kind of. Great. How did he get my it's number? A statue, but no eyes. Okay, uh, I'm still confused. How has he got my number? Is can you just go on the website find out Bruce Wayne's number? Like, yo, my dude. Oh, look at the shopping cart. This dude's gonna want to mug me, isn't he? Yo, hey man, how's it going? You see my friend? Hey. Oz. Be walks with a limp. Looks like a penguin. Okay. You win. That's a nice shopping trolley. Just stand it upright. You're gonna touch it. Don't touch it, mate. You don't know what's on it. What did it... Why did it draw me to look at that other shopping trolley? There's another shopping... What the fuck? <sighs> graffiti. Look at the graffiti. Ah, oh, got some fucking amateur artists out here, do we? Looks like the back of me local shops. Well, that isn't what it used to be. Cool, I bet you when I look at the statue, something's gonna happen. Right. Can I change my ca camera angle? Ooh, okay, that's how I look at highlightable things. Is there a shopping trolley over here, specifically? No. Can I run? Can I move any faster than this? Please. Highlightable, highlightable, nope. Okay. Please tell me it's Oz. Wallet ah. cash. What did I say? Like this goes through you. Ah, you heard great. It, <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're oh. mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. really the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Ooh. Oh shit's going down. Fuck! Oosh! This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Um. Surprise! Ooh! Ah! God damn it, man! This is my park! Mine! You hear that? I mean, like, I've been punched Whoa. in the face before. Hey, Bruce. And I know how much that would hurt. Ah. Eh, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing quite starts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. 
I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful. Yeah, of you. thanks. I appreciate yeah. it. Two decades. Thank you. And you know I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place put some money into it. Clean it up, yeah? For families. People came from all over to visit. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> the king this of Gotham. City chews right through people. <sighs> Mum. Not even gonna offer me some, eh? Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left. What makes you think that I don't I want know. to drink? Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home, that oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone Almost fucked his shit up too. Stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push, and it'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, though. Damn, the littering's a fuck. You, you were going on, on about the park and littering's and a crime, and that's what. Me. Fuck, I just. Dude, just. Which brings me to you, Bruce. Small steps, mate. You small see, steps. Throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. You gonna mug me? My revolution starts. So I already tried that. Smash windows and cross off names all the way down. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection don't for you, Bruce. Don't try it, mate. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Did you just put blood on my shirt? Good seeing you, Bruce. Do you realize how expensive this I shirt is? To collect. Cheers. I pick up his flask. He didn't take it. I want it. Ooh. Wait, uh, I'm confused, right? Did I just happen to walk here from my place? Like, isn't Wayne Manor outside of the city? It is. It's outside the city. I think. I, I believe so. Doesn't that look? Wait, which one's that? Is that Arkham? That's Arkham. That's not. <laughs> that's not Wayne Manor. God no. Don't that look nice? Who's driving? Is Alfred driving? That'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce. Bruce. Soaking up. Good morning, everyone. I'm a nice guy. I'm Good morning, polite. Mr. Dent. I'm humble, like hey, Keanu Reeves. If we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast. The absolute and the legend. off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now we're here about Arkham Asylum. 
Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few it's words to really like say. I just need my money. Bruce? I'm here today because I want to heal Gotham. To stop the culture of crime that's running our streets. Hmm. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That That's night, me, Batman. My parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. We had to see the show at the theater, not like a movie, like opera. <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, uh... Yep. Sure, you all have plenty of person. questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We you tell can them, do better. Right, Sorry if my lack of talking, I'm actually intrigued in what's being said. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you okay. welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, on topic. remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized Ooh. crime going back years Whoa. and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your what? family directly to the mob. Care to this comment? is news to me. <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations? This is news to me. What people. are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, how long has your family been keep dealing calm, with Falcone? Keep calm, keep calm, Bruce. Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this? Don't Bruce? panic, Bruce. What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh, shit, that ain't good, is it? Get in your fast car, break a couple of road rules, and get there quick. <sighs> Seriously, though, man. As long as I don't play the right combination, is it the... Well, I don't know where the back cave is it. Hey, hey, It constantly careful. changes, man. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This war. <sighs> 
It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. Nothing valuable, mate. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The Warren covers oh, that's your a lot. place, Seriously. pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? What do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't <sighs> comment. Who authorized it? Oh it's wait, he's not tell me that, is it? Serve it? Mayor Hill signed off on yeah. this himself. <sighs> of course it was Mayor Hill. he's mayor, he calls the shots. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I... We have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. He's so professional. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know mm. how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally well, turn things around Well, let's hope that I don't go down. For, for all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I ain't got nothing to hide, man. I'm as straight as an arrow. Please don't tell me you just broke what I think you just broke, otherwise we're gonna have a fucking problem. If you're the same cop that fucking shot me, I'm going to kill your family over it again. You know what? I'm not even gonna make it quick. I'm gonna make it nice and slow. I'm gonna torture him. You're gonna see it happen, too. I'm a little bit crazy. Ooh, shit. White eyes. It's okay, Bruce. They broke the photo frame. The photo's fine, I think. I hope. Bruce, stay back! Why's it fucking... Bang! Wait, Take wait. Take whatever you want! You... You don't have to do this. Got PTSD. A criminal training. He's holding the gun with both hands. That's proper. Wow, that's. He's a proper shot too. Thought he was gonna do a gangster style, you know, on the side. Bruce. Why are you in my house? I. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... You were. Get the fuck out of my house. This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Have you tried? Like, actually? Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. What do you want? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get no the shit, right I didn't do anything. kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, what do I, I have all what kinds do I have of to access. Do? I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. You do. I still want the well, truth. The Gazette mm, received maybe. this supposed <laughs> maybe you want evidence else. like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me huh obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be I mean, this has been no one's even done their due diligence nearly half an hour the press of saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing harvey wins in a landslide all signs point to Hill. You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through Great. the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right no, here, the right that I'm now, Batman. and stop it. You're who? You need to get no, out of here. No, I didn't say anything. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Just give a quote. Whenever you're ready. 
This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Why do you think I said it? You think I'm a fucking idiot, Vale? Jesus. Ugh. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. <laughs> no, you're on top. <laughs> I need to stop doing that, man. Am I trying to keep this PG? Well, definitely not. Um, I hate to admit it, but uh, everyone smells end. smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies. They call the fire brigade! Family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the exactly. anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Jesus Christ, my dude. A warrant? What the hell's going yeah. on? Yeah. Wait, does this have to do with you what the reporters are talking about bitch? this morning? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass. Another as it oh, is. you mean another scene? And mine? Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, yes! taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. You better fucking God auto. Damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor <sighs> Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Easy, Bruce, Bruce I wish hey? I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this Can investigation, you an Australian version of Batman be it's a conflict awesome. of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Harvey's gonna have a problem with this. Don't worry. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Hart. Oh. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak That's get away terrible. with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? That's good enough uh, to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. So, what do you do for a living? What is it you do? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. 
Uh, excuse me a moment. Sorry, sorry. You take this hey, off. It's, it's all good. We'll get to know each other. Just fine. I'm sitting, I was sitting a little bit away from my microphone there. Sorry, guys. This is going to be interesting. What did Javi go? How far? How long do we have? Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. Likewise. Oh, call the mate. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't Ooh, worry. Um... I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. Yet. Yeah. I'm curious about Is something. Is there anything else. I can do to make you change your mind? I do what I do for money, but you're Why do I do it? Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you. I was hired by the CIA. Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. God damn, if I man. fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost Shut a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. Okay, no, we, we've, we've deviated. And I'm not going to lie Ooh. in it alone. Ooh. You owe me. Ooh. If they don't get what they want, there will oh, be consequences. Okay. All right, you want my help? You okay. got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. And you can give me back my grappling gun. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. I don't have it on me. You think You're just going idiot? to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be Thank expecting you. a cat, Fine. not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Finally, eating to reason. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have yeah, my people along, working fine. on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. <sighs> Sorry, but I've got to okay. run. Okay. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Hmm, Harvey suspicious. It's all good, my dude. <laughs> Don't screw it up. Like I was gonna screw it up. I'm Batman. How could I possibly screw it up? Do you not know who I am? I'm Batman. Should I leave a little bit dial? Alfred, I'm at. Oh, look at me. Okay, hang on. Can I? Sorry to cut the dialogue off, but can I? Can I see where I am? Sorry. Chapter two. How many chapters are there? Uh, ha, 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 ha. Chapter six. Fuck this, mate. The warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of action because it would be entirely boring if I just left that last ep this episode as an entire episode of dialogue. Even I would hate that. I, I'm not you guys, right? Oh, big strong man. Um, 
Uh, first impressions? This doesn't look good. It was a and Polly doesn't smell good. How many? I'd Too many. To count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such Ooh. a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Don't tell him what it is, you know, just tell him to be there. <coughs> Nothing Jesus. left to bury. Expl <coughs> That's fucked. Scorch marks. A bomb went off right here. Analyzing. I'm a detective. It's a volatile chemical. What, C4? Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, mm. very careful with that. Who knows what effects it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Okay, okay. I, I'm thinking, right? The bomb went off right, right about where I'm standing, and then blew this guy to fucking pieces. Blew him to Kingdom Con. As you can see, this, the blood goes that way, and I'm about to figure this one out. Because watch this. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were uh -huh. inert. Yep. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Definitely not the people. I'm not that good. Okay. I've seen yeah, these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. It's pretty distinctive. I think you'd pick that one up pretty quick. Yeah. Even if you weren't the world's greatest detective. I mean, Batman's pretty good too. <laughs> what was in here? The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after. How's that dude not in pieces? Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Apparently, it doesn't even protect me against a gunshot because some asshole cop shot me in the last episode. Oh, um. That's retarded. Ooh, that's convenient. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Ooh. That's that's interesting. Bullet, what do I link this with? The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Okay. Okay, we're making progress. This is good. This is good. Hmm. Canisters were pallets? stored here. Something was on these. What? Yeah, see? That's a good question. Don't you know? You already analyzed the compound that was, you know, everyone. It's a oh, cop. shot cop. The force Poor grows boy. thinner every day. Hmm. So glad that your eyes are good enough to tell us a cop from like a meter away. Something, Something was, was here. here when the explosion a car occurred. that drove out. <laughs> okay, okay, what do we got over here? White Rose. Calling card. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Jeez, Send I am just card. too fucking good, mate. I want to know his every move. Good the thinking, sir. That's pretty cool. Okay, what else we got? What can I link? I can link anything. Those are linked. Okay, shot cop. Right, I can't link anything with the shot cop, right? What else, what else we got? Ah, ee, ooh, yeah, burnt cop. He's seen better days. Is that... What's this that stuck in his head? Burned, Is that something stuck in his head? The damage seems to originate from and inside shot. his skull. What did this? What's that? Is that something sticking out of his head, or is that something behind me? Oh, that... Mm. 
Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. God damn. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. This guy put up a bit of a fight, eh? No. Uh, let's say his face is fucked up. Mmm. Face slashed. Yep. Throat torn open. Is this so, scarecrow's fear toxin? Causes, then. I don't know. Maybe natural causes. Skyline Club. I'm just gonna take this. Okay, I'm I'm assuming that these two go together. A cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause Who shot the to cop? That? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Okay, okay, we're still missing. Oh, huh. Um. Ah, okay, okay. Unscorched area. Blast epicenter. No, I'm. I'm s I don't know, right? What can I link? I can link, link these. Unscorched area. There's tire marks. Can I link this cop? His incendiary bullet. Bring it over to here, right? No. Right. Can I link that over to this this cockhead? Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew okay, the canister. Okay. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun Depends store. who you know, Alfred. Depends who you know. It appears military. I'm thinking one of these mercs. These mercs seem uh, highly trained and highly motivated. Right, okay, okay. I'm thinking. Incendiary bullet, bloody hands, that's all linked. Right, this... Can I link that to that? Someone drove off after the okay. explosion. Yeah, okay, it's seeming good. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This okay. is a message. Uh -huh. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making radio, a radio. Move. Okay, cops got guns drawn and mercenaries have a big old gun battle, right? Okay, I'm seeing some. There's a canister. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat right, and explode. Okay. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying Where, evidence. What sniper? Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men okay, cut them yep. down. Cool. Sniper picks one of the cops off. Then things turn grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his mm -hmm. bare hands. Yep, cool. It was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Right, so we need to find the sniper is what you're telling me. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Good thing I've got two of these grapple guns, you know. The fuck is that?
both targets could have been he shot from him. here. He would have killed himself in the blast. But no phosphorus trace. Okay. They straight up would have killed himself in the blast. I'm thinking it's that one. That's just me. This, this looks like a good spot where he could have shot him, you know? Just, just saying. They could have picked up that cop. There you go. Picked up the cop. And blowing up the cannon style without killing himself in the process. For a spike. Clear vantage point. I wouldn't say clear. That's one hell of a shot to hit that cop from there. Especially with him laying prone. These guys have got training. It's a conspiracy. Where does Falcone get these fucking guys? Oh. Hmm. Killing time. That's that's uh, a l that's a l little bit. This is the right fresh, spot. you know. So where did he go? I know. Can I just follow his handprints? He seems to be doing a fairly good job at leading me to him. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. He didn't hear me before. <laughs> is he dead? Oh, he's not dead. Whoa! My turn. Almost gave up for a second there. Who's Jesus? Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Yeah, I can. That's gonna hurt. I ain't telling Come you. Come on, Jack. man, don't. <sighs> You trying to scare a confession yes. out of me? I won't. Yes, break. you will. Your bones will. Right. Objective: don't kill him. Just fuck him up real good. This isn't bad. True, what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling Internally. Mm. all on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Tell me. The cab woman supposed to hand over a drive had the container number we needed but she flaked so we had to find it ourselves uh, container by container someone must have heard us called the cops we were told no witnesses why risk open war with the gcpd some kind of chemicals <laughs> Falcone wanted them what are the chemicals for we were paid to steal them not ask questions <laughs> Sorry. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals is some kind of oh, explosive. Shit. A weapon. I don't know. Balcone said he'd use them soon. Used. That's all I know. I swear. Why am I, I playing this? I told you everything Sorry. I know. You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Okay. Okay. All right. I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance, too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? That man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Am I? <laughs> Am I, though? <sighs> At least I didn't... Hey, I didn't kill him. Is that an important point? I didn't kill him? I think that's probably important than I am. Alright, okay. That's it for the, this episode, guys. Um, continue the rest of this chapter in part three of episode one. 
So if you liked the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video with your friends. And I'm Mr. Rainbow, signing out.